this is definitely a book that you need to get before it's too late and too expensive. So if you want to know what it is, stick around and you'll find out. Go go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and my fellow comic book enthusiasts? My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And this is a book that I definitely would recommend adding to your collection before this book gets too expensive. Now, this book is definitely not going to be cheap by any means, but I have a feeling that it is only going to continue to rise. And, um... This comic is based on a, I'm going to say, potential movie as of now, because until something is made, there are no guarantees, even though it is a Marvel movie and they have stated that this will be made. You never know what happens. So uh, this is a book that I was able to get um, via a Buy It Now. And let me close in. And this is definitely a book I would recommend. Now, before I show this, always wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. If you want to have one of those, all you have to do is be a subscriber and asking for it will get it a little bit faster. But that is not necessary. And uh, don't forget, I also have that contest for the free poster. Um, it's obviously not going to get a thousand views, but uh, if I can get it to 100 likes, I will pick the winner. So I think right now it's between 91 and 93 likes. So if anything, it gives people an opportunity to uh, join in on the contest. Uh, there's nothing to do but basically be a subscriber and say you want to be in the contest, and then I will randomly pick a winner once it gets to 100 likes. So it's not too far behind. So with that being said, let me show the book that you need to get. And this is Eternals number one, but... As you can see here, this is the 30 cent variant. And this is a rarer book that I would absolutely recommend getting. Now, this is also newsstand variant. Now, I don't know if there is a, a difference with that with this book. I'm going to have to do some further research. That would make it even more rare if it was the difference between a newsstand and um, one that you would buy from a comic book store. That's what's called the direct edition. So if anybody knows about that, let me know. Because if there is a dis distinction with that, that would make this book even rarer. But uh, I'll have to dig a little bit further. Um, the only problem with this book, obviously I'll have to check the whole thing, is there is a color-breaking crease right there. A tiny little line, maybe about an inch long. And I'll show you a close-up. Probably going to be hard to see. But it's right there. So other than that, this book would easily... Yeah, let me look. Um, corner a little rounded. I would say probably a 9.0. Of course, I have to look at the entire book. Now, I will be putting this in another bag and board because as you can see, uh, this book is in a bag that's much too large and you definitely won't don't want to do that because you know if it moves around that's how you can ding the corners and everything but this is the first appearance of the eternals it's normally a 25 cent price tag that's the regular version this is a very sought after book now you are taking the chance because like i said uh this is an expensive book and uh, there are no guarantees they will make the movie, even though they've said it, because you never know, things may change. And it doesn't necessarily guarantee that it will be good or, you know, will continue. But I always give Marvel the benefit of the doubt because they tend to do things right, because even their bad movies are not horrible. There's just some that are not, you know, the best ones to watch, like, for example, Thor The Dark World. It's not a horrible movie, it's just not one of their best. So you are taking a chance with this, but that's a risk you have to take if you are doing it for investment purposes. Obviously, if you just want this book to read it, then it would there would be no advantageous uh, reason for you to get the 30 cent variant other than just saying you have it. So this book I've seen online selling for about six to eight hundred dollars, depending on the grade, six hundred for a seven point five. 
So this is an expensive book, but you can find deals. So don't be afraid to look around and wait for it because I didn't pay 800 700 600 500 400 uh, with shipping and handling, I paid $310.95 for this book. Now, like I said, this is a high-grade book. Um, again, I have to look at the whole thing. But other than this color break and maybe a little bit of a rounding at the edge, um, I can't see this book getting lower than an 8.5. And if the movie does well and it does, you know, end up panning out, this could definitely be a hot book that has so much potential. So I would not recommend spending $600 for this book. Wait for deals. Ask for deals. I would love to know the print run of this book. Uh, if anybody knows that or where they could find it, let me know. Post that link in the description because I couldn't find anything. And again, if anybody knows if there is a newsstand and a direct edition of this book, let me know because this one would be the newsstand edition if that was the case and uh, that might make it even rarer so i'll have to keep digging on that one but this is definitely a book to acquire now obviously if you don't have that kind of money the 25 cent version i mean you could still get for under 60 dollars. now this is a book back in 2015 i was telling people to get and i have several copies that i've spent under 20 dollars for i think i average between 12 and 15 dollars but unfortunately those days are past at this point and it's only going to get higher as they start talking about, you know, confirmation of the movies and trailers and all that other stuff. And if, you know, the movie ends up good and they continue to make sequels, then these books are going to get out of reach. So you want to really try and invest in them while you can. But I will not stop from stressing that you are taking a chance and there are no guarantees. So if you're going to spend this kind of money in hopes that it's going to succeed and it doesn't, you may want to think twice about buying this book. I think it's worth a chance, especially if I'm paying about half of what you can get it for now. Now, obviously, look in dollar bins, look in antique shops, look online. You may even find much better deals than I have. Um, I don't have a problem with spending some money on investments, so I don't want to be driving around like 500 miles to go to 50 different stores to spend hour upon hour looking through boxes. That's just not my thing. If it's yours, then hey, have fun with it. Sometimes the hunt is some of the more uh, funnest parts of this. But to me, I like knowing that I can go on eBay. I have the eBay guarantee, so I don't have to worry if somebody tries to lie about it or take advantage or whatever. Um, I'll get my money back if there's always problems. They mail it right to my door. I don't have to spend hours driving all around because to me, time equals money. And I'd rather spend my time with my wife than being six hours in a comic book store. But again, if that's something you like to do, there's nothing wrong with it. Each person is going to do things different. So I don't have a problem with the price I paid of $310.95. Uh, if it continues to go up, we'll see. This is definitely a book I am going to be getting graded. And um, one day I look forward to it. Now, I also showed another version of this a while ago, but it was issue number two that also has a 30 cent version. Uh, that one's going to be a little bit cheaper, and that still has um, significance because it, that one's the first appearance of the Celestials. And they already started talking about that from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. So they will have a pivotal role in the next you know, features of Marvel movies because they are going cosmic. So issues 1 and 2 are great to get, but they both have 30-cent variants. Now, the 30-cent variant that I got for issue number 2, I think I paid like $67 for which is definitely below what it's worth. But uh, that one would be a little bit uh, less expensive if you can't afford something like this. But again, you could do trades. You could save up your money. But um, try and get it if you can. And if you find one of these for the 30 cents on there, grab it and don't look back. So hopefully it'll turn out to be something good. But I definitely wanted to share this. So if you appreciate me trying to help you with the things you may not have known about, Thumbs up always help me because it shows support. Sharing it will help fellow comic book collectors out there to know about this that may not. So if you could share this video, it helps other people benefit. And uh, don't forget to leave your comment. Hit subscribe if you haven't. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. And doesn't this big guy on the left look like he's thinking? Because I always think it looks like he's got his finger there going, hmm, maybe he is. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. 
If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.